Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. Today in this video, I wanted to talk about the future of the United States. <clears throat> Where are we heading as a country? And if you are outside of the United States, where do you see the United States heading in terms of a, uh, a nation state? I got to tell you right now, uh, in terms of the long-term outlook, uh, it causes me a, uh, a certain amount of anxiety. I am uh, uh, unsure of what the United States looks like uh, 20 years into the future. And uh, I got to tell you, going back 30 years from the present time, uh, I would have never believed the country would act the way it does now. And, and obviously from my previous video, uh, Lessons in Insanity, you kind of understand what I am talking about. Uh, I would have never believed 30 years ago that uh, what is being taught now inside of schools, i.e. universities, uh, grade school we would we would currently be seeing at the same time we hear a lot about the uh, the force the forced diversification of uh, of society and obviously uh, the uh, the government depending on which political party may or may not be in power has has different uh, outlooks in terms of diversity and what it calls uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion. And ultimately, I guess the big question is, can a nation that becomes so polarized and diverse, is it sustainable? I think if we look at uh, other nation states around the globe, and we look at history more importantly, uh, for instance, if I were to go back to 19... 80, 1970, 1960, this area right here. You have Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, Kosovo, Montenegro, North Macedonia. Obviously, this was one state at one period of time. And uh, now it has broken up into a multitude of of uh, of states and obviously it went through a period of intense civil conflict before breaking apart and uh, you if you were to to go back and, and look at Yugoslavia obviously there was a quite a bit of diversification probably more diversity or I'm sorry less diversity in the former Yugoslavia, less diversity than what you see now in the United States. And I, I guess, you know, depending on how you view diversity and is it forced diversity, and diversity is a wide range of, of, of top, uh, topics and identifiers and groups. It's not just race and ethnicity it's it is not that it is it is belief systems it is a wide range of uh, of uh, subjects that uh, creates this quote unquote diversity but what is the root word of diversity it's division and i guess again if Fast forwarding 20 years with kind of the trajectory that we are currently on, is the United States sustainable? And not just in terms of cultural or ethnic diversification, but that, that belief system that exists and the, the wide range of, uh, of beliefs that exist inside the United States. And uh, as I talked about in my previous video, what was being taught in a Midwestern university in the United States, for some, 
what is being taught there. It is something that will would simply never work in some societies. It, the 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 belief against that what is being taught in that specifics in regards to uh, some of the uh, the trans uh, gender movements that are taking place inside the United States. And again, I, it's very difficult for me to under understand the why behind that. Obviously, there are uh, many different beliefs about the why that is occurring. But uh, again, for, for some, it's just uh, it, it's something that uh, will will never set right. And uh, I you know I think the best analogy <clears throat> would be if everybody was forced to not only eat pea soup but forced to absolutely like pea soup. And I, I don't know if some of you don't know what pea soup is. <laughs> Obviously, it is basically mushed green peas with some other ingredients that. Uh, uh, for some, does not look appetizing, but for others, people enjoy split pea green soup. I, you know, for one, I, I'm I'm okay with it, but for some, it is absolutely something that you will never eat, and and just to put it in your mouth could cause you uh, to uh, to physically vomit, and just looking at it and smelling it for some is the uh, is the same so in terms of what's happening here in the united states with some of this forced diversification the acceptance of things that uh would uh, go against maybe one's religious belief right so back to the whole pea soup you uh may be forced to eat pea soup and you may be forced to actually say you enjoy pea soup but ultimately, you despise pea soup. Furthermore, it may be against your religious belief to eat pea soup. And I fear that is the ingredient which is going to tear the United States apart. Not everybody is going to eat pea soup. And some people are going to say, No more pea soup. And with what's happening right now in the United States, uh, there is the uh, the flyover country that exists between the left coast, California, and the east coast, New York, and some of these, these power cities that exist in the east. But there is, uh, there's a lot of space in the United States right now, a lot of places in the United States that uh, that do not agree with some of the things that are indeed occurring inside the United States. And then I guess the question is, is if we continue on this course 30 years from now, what are things going to look like? I could envision it at, at, at one point in the not-too-distant future the way things are going now, and I've talked about this uh, before, is the concept that uh, us as a society, or certain parts of our society, uh, start to uh, make the eating of meat, for instance, illegal. And I know right now, you when you hear that, you laugh at it, and you say that's impossible, that would never happen. But I got to tell you, again, going back, if we were just to go back 50 years from now, 60 years, and I would have gone back in time and said, hey, look, this is what the United States looks like now. This is what is being taught in my children's university. You would say at that point, 50, 60 years ago, you're insane. That's never going to happen. You're, you're being irrational. Well, <laughs> fast forward 50, 60 years, and what was irrational, what was 
insane 60 years ago is now policy. It's happening. It is omnipresent. So the question is for you, the viewer, if we fast forward 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years into the future, what right now would you think that is insane, that is completely irrational, i.e. maybe the, making the eating of meat illegal? What would be something that you find insane right now that we could very well see in the not too distant or, or even somewhat distant future? I would say think about that for a second because, again, uh, what's happening next is going to happen. Now, obviously, there could be some sort of upheaval inside of the United States. I, I, I absolutely uh, believe that is going to happen, and I think eventually the United States will break apart and uh, in all probability will uh, break up into a variety of... Uh, of, of different states, maybe along state lines, maybe on, maybe along some sort of uh, of uh, a coalition or federation or confederation of like-minded states that uh, create some sort of uh, a unified nation state with a multitude of states. But I think that's where we're heading right now. And uh, again, uh, just as I talked about in my previous video, uh, it's. Uh, some of the things that we're seeing that right now is it's just it's it's ludicrous it's insane it's just something that uh, is uh, uh, maybe setting well with some bubbles of society I think if you go to to California if you go to Los Angeles and you were to go to a uh, a dinner party with some some Hollywood types or Silicon Valley types they would find some of the things that are occurring completely reasonable and rational and 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 are actually uh, proponents of it. But then if you were to go to other parts of the United States and um, have a, uh, a conversation with uh, a a dinner party that is taking place maybe in Grand Island, Nebraska. that dinner party is going to look a lot different in terms of what they are seeing happening inside of the United States. They are not going to be proponents of what is happening. They are going to be absolutely opponents to what is going on inside of the United States right now. And uh, I fear that is what is eventually going to tear us apart. And I can see that happening now very, very clearly. And then at the same time, I also fear, besides just the tearing of the United States apart, and that is what's next. What in the future that I find reprehensible now would become policies in the future. But I uh, wanted to talk about that, and uh, by all means, uh, leave comments in the comment section. And uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts. And uh, again, more to come. Have a good day.